Hello and welcome to my channel again. Today we are not going to work on a boat engine. We are not going to work on a boat. Today I want to make something that I saw on Facebook for a very long time ago. A guy made this. Yeah. And what you can see is actually a cooling thing for beers. So I want to make this one i got an old container an old gasoline tank so let's find it and make it beautiful this is what i got an old very very dirty one first of all before anything i will clean it up after i clean it up i will actually uh, cut it up so i will cut a straight line around uh, there's an old gasoline in it so I'll just check it with some water so it will not damage me when I'm cutting it up. And then we actually need to uh, to grind it, sand it, and paint it. Let's see if this can be a beautiful container for beers. Is it a shame? Now it's clean. It's actually beautiful. It is Yamaha. So, ah, I want to make the container. I have dreamed about that, so I'll do it. It's now grinded a little bit. I took this one, I took this one, put it on here so it was straight, and then I could draw this, this line around it because I need to cut it open. I actually cut it up with this uh, multi-tool here. <laughs> I used the whole blade because it's damaged now. Um, here, it's not perfect, you can see here. It's, oh, hey, hey. This is what I'm looking for, a beer can. If you look this side here, this was so irritating to do. So now I need to take some of the, some of it off. That's pretty fucked up. That is how it is. I will deal with that. What do we have? I got some very, very heavy duty hinges here. And I think I'll use those. And also in my MC drawer here. I got some of these endings this was bought for my old yamaha to my tank and i bought two sets so this could actually be this edge here just to have a a nice look up i wanted some rubber inside because i think it will close better but let's see if we can use that it's a uh, board and i have it the only thing that I need to go buying is actually paint. First of all, I will use some primer. This is just a gray one. As you can see, I use this nozzle again because it will spray a lot wider like this. I'm finished with the uh, primer. 
But what I didn't saw before, it was actually those here. I do not know if you can see it. There you can see there's something in it. And there's a small pieces around it. And that is actually paper. You can maybe see it here. That's paper from, uh, from my paper towel. I used this with some uh, spit. And uh, when I wiped it, I cut the paper up here and I actually forgot to get it off. I didn't saw it, so now I need to sand it down again and repaint it. There is something I need to show you. This is a very good beer. I like that one. So cheers. I want to also show you what true love is. French fries. After three layers of paint and the can is empty, it looks okay, not perfect, but okay. It is not that bad. The finish is okay. Now put this on. There's some kind of glue in it. I just cut up a little piece and see if the glue is still working. And it is. It has lay for I think three years or something like that. Let's put this on. Now it's starting to look like what I wanted. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Here is almost the finished result. It is not perfect, but I still like it. As, as you can see, there can be more beers in this one. I need to put something inside, but I'll just do that for now. This is done. Ta-da!